The Count sends his regards. The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours, mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um, my grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Yes, I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. Thanks for coming with me. Would you say you've killed many people? Why do you ask me that? If someone is impious to the point of doing grave injustice to people as well as the gods, do they not deserve punishment? What did Praxithea do? She spoke false prophecies for years. Those who came to her for advice received only lies. Your grandmother was an oracle? Yes, up on the hill in Delphi. She confessed to me recently that she never had the gods, and only repeated the words he was told. Told by vile people with evil intentions. Exactly. Wars have been fought over those words. She can't be left unpunished. I... My family was torn apart by a false prophecy. If it was one of hers, I may take matters into my own hands. Get out of here, Likaon! I know what you want to do. You'll just bring more shame on our family. I don't want to do this, Agavi. But for the sake of justice, we can't let Praxithea live. It's out of our hands anyway. Some strange men were searching the village today, looking for her. I brought them here, and they dragged her away. What kind of justice is that? You won't understand. She was an impious old fool. Now we have nothing more to worry about. Who are you anyway? I'm Alexios. I've also been wronged by a false prophecy. It might have been your grandmother's. If we don't find her, we can't settle any of this. Please help me figure out where she's been taken. I'll look for clues. What did you expect me to do? All that talk about killing? A solution showed up, so I took it. Praxithea must have lost this, but no ordinary thief would have left something so valuable behind. Have you seen anything strange going on around here? Well, if bandits taking over my cousin's farm is strange, yes. What did they do? Gave her a running start. She can't go back there. They've set up camp, and they're armed and dangerous. Interesting. Where is that farm? It's not far west of here. But I wouldn't mess with those bandits. Thanks for the advice. This looks like a contract. Deliver the package to the drop-off, and don't damage it. If they mean Likaon's grandmother, chances are she's alive. Praxithea was kidnapped and brought to a farm west of here. The bandits were hired to deliver her alive. Thank you for figuring that out, Alexios. I'm no fool, Ligaon. 
Your sister put Praxithia in great danger, and you've been asking me about killing. Do you want me to end her life? No. It has to be me. I need to kill her. She's your grandmother, and you're no killer. You should give this more thought. This is my responsibility. I don't want her to suffer. That's why I asked you for Mandrake. It's a painkiller. But for now, will you go to the farm to stop those bandits? I don't think I can take them all by myself. Let's go find Praxithia. Thanks, Alexios. You said the farm was to the west. I'll meet you there. Please, go ahead and free Praxithia. I'll join you later. Must be the farm where Praxathea is being held prisoner. I should watch my step around here. I will remember. Thank you, my child. We must get away from here. Could more bandits be coming? Please, let's get out of here. Thank you for saving me, dear child. Don't thank me, voice of Apollo. Or were those someone else's words you spoke? So you've met my grandson. You're right. I lied to everyone. I am so sorry. The gods should have killed me by now. Instead, they made me live with my remorse. Why did you spread lies? People trusted you. You were supposed to bring them the word of Apollo. I didn't plan to, not when I was chosen to be the oracle of Apollo. But I met people there who told me I must speak the words they asked, or else my family would suffer for my disobedience. Family? 
do you remember telling a Spartan family that their younger child must die? A grieving mother with eyes like mine. I am so sorry for what you have lost. Who wanted you kidnapped? These brutes didn't come up with the idea themselves. Please, don't ask me that. The ones who want to punish me now, the ones who told me what to say, they would bury you alive if I told you about them. The ones with masks and dark cloaks? The Cult of Cosmos? Do not speak their name. Grandmother. Did she tell you? Is she the Oracle who brought ruin on your family? I'm sorry for what I've done. I accept my punishment. But please, don't let my grandson kill me. Likaon's a good man, a healer. This would break him. No, this is my responsibility. I must be the one to end her. I've killed enough people to know that violence has no end. Better to move on and make the best of the lives the gods have given you. Move on? But you said Praxithea ruined your family. She can do no more harm. Killing her for revenge won't change what happened. Besides, didn't you tell me something about hope? Thank you for your mercy. I promise I will do good with what's left of my days. You're right, Alexios. I might not be able to forgive my grandmother, not right away. But she can go on with her life, and I with mine. I think you've made the right decision, Nikaon. Ah, oh, how do you do this? Decide who lives and who dies. How do you do it, Likaon? All those lives depending on you, needing your healing and kindness. I... I think I need you, Alexios. Not to kill anybody or find anything. Just to stay with me. I can't stay forever. But for now, let me take care of you, healer. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day, but their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Rothodos? 
the Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There is nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Herodotus! I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well. But treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans, and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I convinced myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. 
You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship.